Welcome back to my channel. It is Candace with a K here where I normally talk books, beauty, and kicks. I am doing something a little different today. I am doing a real versus fake. This is featuring the Chanel vanity. So while I was in Europe this summer, I bought a mini vanity. A seller over at the fence sent me a small vanity. So we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously the bags are not the same size. They're not the same dimensions. But let's just, you know, talk quality, okay? So if you are interested, please keep watching. So this is the box that the Chanel that I got in Europe came in. It's very tiny, very small. This, on the other hand, <laughs> is the box that the Chanel from the boys over at the fence came in, okay? So it has the sticker with the Chinese symbols on it. The box is falling apart, but that's okay because the box is not important, right? This one opens up by like, um, like this. And it's the tiniest Chanel bag. If you are a subscriber to my channel, that is exactly what I call it, the tiny Chanel bag, but it comes in a dust bag like this. On the other hand, this box is one of the like, um, oh, like the magnetic closures. So you open her up, see the box is falling apart. It did come in a Chanel bag, um, some something of a dust bag, <laughs> um, but not really. And it came with this paperwork, of course, all in a foreign language. Um, it says Chanel Hong Kong, actually. So oh, my authentic Chanel receipt came in a little folder like this and inside was my receipt information, um, my like actual receipt, the information so that I could get my VAT back because of course as an American you can do the VAT taxes to get some of your money back. I'll talk about that later. Here we go. When we open her up out of the dust bag. This is <laughs> the tiniest little Chanel, um, but it's cute. She serves her purpose. Um, and then you unzip her. She has the mirror inside. Oops, I have gum in there. <laughs> she has the mirror inside and a lipstick holder. Um, and that's pretty much it to the bag. You have the Chanel logo on the front. You have the CCs on the bottom. Um, and this is not an adjustable strap. So this is just a regular strap. This is the bag from the people over at the fence. At a first glance, I would say it's not bad. This would be considered the lambskin while this is the caviar. And you see the difference just a little bit, the texture. Um, so the texture is different, of course, but that is because they are two different bags, two different leather styles. So this would be the caviar. This would be the lambskin. This one comes, the hardware, which I want to applaud, is not brassy at all. Um, and it comes with little gold undertone under the handle. You have the CC on the front and you have the CC on the bottom. The stitching here looks a little weird, but I think that just can be cut. And so that kind of mirrors the real one, but you notice the spacing seems to be a little di different. And so if I can assume that the spacing would be the same so that the C is not as stretched width wise. That makes sense. See? Once again, this is not an adjustable strap, nor is the strap removable, but it has a top handle, which is different. Um, and then when you open it up, it also has the mirror on the top. And inside of the bag is no lips. Oh no, actually I'm standing corrected. There's small lipstick holder area, but not really. It's like just 
a pocket opposed to this one it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag this one kind of is just i don't know its purpose <laughs> one thing about this bag from the boys at the fence is that it smells horrible it smells like you know the smell and it reeks um and I think it's just the whole, I think it's the box, the bag, the dust bag, the receipt, all of it reeks. Um, I am still unsure if I'm keeping her. Like I said, Candace's closet is going to be coming soon where I'll be selling some of the items that I've received or and purchased that I no longer want. Um, and so I'm thinking I might sell her. If you think I should sell her or keep her, put that in the comments down below we'll figure it out together i guess this was um it wasn't necessarily an impulsive buy when i went over to europe i figured it was the perfect time to get a little chanel i knew i wanted a mini vanity and i either wanted it in pink or black and they had one in pink i really wanted a mini classic flap but i got what i wanted i'm sure what you all are anticipating is how much this bad boy was the vanity on a chain that's how they describe it after taxes it was 2300 euros which is like 2600 dollars um which is crazy but i was able to get just short of 300 of that back with the vat tax so in all the bag was about 2k 2k euros so like 2200 for a small, a little small thing. So now I have to wear this 2,200 times so I can get my cost per wear. <laughs> but no, I've, I'm in love with it. I love it. It's perfect for concert season. Um, I wore it to Lil Baby um, and it fit everything that I needed for the night. I can probably do like what fits in my mini vanity because you can low key fit a lot of stuff in here. It does get heavy when you have too much stuff in here so i don't advise it but like for a night and a necessities type of thing it fits a lot we'll have this bag linked down below so that you can get it i think price wise it's a good enough bag like it's 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 durable you know it's a sturdy situation here i think they finally got the hardware gold right over at the fence it's not super yellow and brassy and I think it's just a cute little dainty date night situation. It is still on my wish list to get a vanity in this size um, or even the bigger one. Um, the denim one I've been seeing everywhere is super cute, but I need to start building up my black collection bags and my kind of more classic bags instead of going for the more statement bags because it's not super realistic, although it works for my wardrobe. Um, but I'm so glad that you've made it this far to this video. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Peace.